Oh, on this. We're recording. Yeah, we're guys. recording because you guys Hello. are the first we're one of the special. day. Hello. So oh, today is all about the being... first one. Dustin Reese and Yasmin Tedrasi spinning here. So before we were using inductive reasoning, which was based on patterns and observations, deductive reasoning Wait. was using facts, rules, properties, definitions. This one's all factual based. So before it was more of just a pattern, this was all facts, like I know for sure. How do you remember all these four times? Well, we had it. There's a lot. Like, what do you do? Not take a final. Sleep to like all your topics that I know nothing about. No, wait. It's like, it's like, oh, out of bounds, off the offside, it's the first. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. I can go back. I've heard of the most. And this is really hard. I don't know. It is. There's like weird things. Yeah, there's something called Bella Song. Yeah, well. Oh, there's a Bella I saw it. just like touch Now I can actually work. Okay, so we're going to read this situation and we need to decide if we're in, if it's based on deductive reasoning or inductive reasoning. So let's see. Every time Katie has worn her favorite socks to a softball game, she has gotten at least one hit. Katie's wearing her favorite socks to a game tonight, so she concludes that she will get at least one hit. Is that based on observations and patterns or facts and figures? Observations and patterns. So is that inductive or deductive? Inductive. Yes.
Which I think this is dated because I know video games now are like sixty dollars, right? They're so Any expensive. Mario Kart has like Mario Kart has free. like when you get it because it's super fast. Like, wow. Good games. Are it makes wait like six it's months. It's, it's not bad. Minecraft is not free, but it's the best game. game. But I got it before it cost me. So you have wait. Okay, let's try the next one. It's a quadrilateral is a rhombus, and it is also parallelogram. Quadrilateral ABC is a rhombus. Can we make a conclusion? It's a quadrilateral ABC. Yes. Quadrilateral. I'm sorry, it's a rhombus. Lateral. For me, it's a parallelogram. A parallelogram is. With parallel sides? Yeah, but both sides are parallel. It's essentially oh. a rectangle that's squished over. Huh? It's like pushed over. It looks it's like those lines. Oh, it's, 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 it's a really bad example because I can't draw, but that's what it is. That's a parallel graph. A rhombus is just a four sided figure that has all sides. Like a diamond, a lot of people think diamonds are rhombuses. Diamond looks pretty cool. Okay, let's try this one. If you are 18 years old, then you can, can register to vote. Olivia is not 18 years old. She, she is not allowed to vote. Okay, well, here's the thing, though. We don't know. What if she's 19 years old? She could still vote. Oh, oh. so it's the no So this would be a no valid conclusion, because we don't know. We just know for sure she's not 18, but she could be older or younger. So it has to say that this is true, but it's saying it's not true. So that's why this would be no valid conclusion. Wow. Why are your boards so bad? I don't know. It's like a hand. But I just don't have a room. Didn't you just have a room? I used to like travel between all my rooms. So I was really happy when I got it. Wait, why were you downstairs there? I was just stopping. So I'll take a crappy board to have a room. Can you stop for friends one day? Sure. Do you know German? Nice. Oh. Do you know, do you know Spanish? Do you know Spanish? Can you stop for Spanish? You went to use German. Croissant so like means fish. Poulet <laughs> 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 means chicken. So you guys are so smart. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. If the sum of the measure of two angles is 90, they are complementary. <laughs> measure of angle J is 58 degrees. Measure of angle K is 32. What do we think? They are complementary. Well, what's 58 plus 32? 90. 90. So is the first part of this true? Yeah. So then angle J and angle K are complementary. Can I just say they are complementary? That's what I wrote. Sure. Good for R, can I put R? No. Okay. So that is law of attachment. Not so bad, right? I get, I like this thing better. Yeah, say it's a great day. Because you don't have to write like a half page for one question. We're going to use the law of syllogism now, and this is what your project's going to be the next day. Syllogism. Project. Yeah, it's going to be fun. So, this is when you have two or more conditional statements in which the conclusion of the first statement is the hypothesis of the second. I think we should just do constructive. Oh, no, you'll like, I promise. You'll like tomorrow. I hope. <laughs> Why can't we do numbers? It sounds bad. Numbers? We'll get numbers laugh. later. But numbers are bad. <laughs> 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 Can you hear that? Sound like a little. I don't know what that was. Oh, you're kind of scary. Did you hear that? That's how they were laughing. Well, it's Halloween month. Maybe they're like trying to mock. There's a TV show and it's messed up. There's a lot of stuff on TV that's messed up. It's like, it's called like a Fawn's Bull Sun. And it's like his dad is a serial killer and he's an FBI agent and he's getting like flashbacks. It's like scary. Is that no, what you're Everyone get this down. Yeah. Let's try one. Okay. Watch up here, okay? So it says if it is Saturday, then Jake has a baseball tournament. Okay, let's go like this. Call this P. Call this Q. R. Right? If Jake has a baseball tournament, so do you see how this is the same? Yeah. So I'm going to label it Q, because it's the exact same thing to R. R. Then he will need to pack his lunch, which is R. Yay! So the law of syllogism says, is since this Saturday? is... Re 
repeated, I can just skip the middle and go, if it is Saturday, then Jake will need a pack of lunch. That's the law of syllogism. Syllogism. Yeah. Syllogism. Wait, what do you say? So, this is an R. Syllogism. Oh. That's an R. So our conclusion would be if, if. it oh, is no. Saturday. Oh, then he'll never get power. Power. Yep. Then Jake. Is his name Jake? Yeah. Will need. No, but what if he doesn't have a baseball term? Then, then we would know that. To pack his lunch. So, law of syllogism, syllogism basically says if this part is repeated, I can cross it off and go from the first part to the last part. Will you always be using if then statement? Yes. That okay. is Yep. Wait, one second. Okay. I'm not going anywhere. There we go. Okay, let's read the next one. If a number is divisible by 12, then it's divisible by 6. If a number is divisible by 6, then it's divisible by 3. If a number is divisible by 12, then it's divisible by 3. Right? Because the middle part was repeated word for word. Good job. I guess it doesn't need to be word for word, but for the most part it is. Students will. We don't need to make it up. Sleep in. Yeah. Sleep in. There you go. I will say that was such a nice treat this morning. It was really nice. Like, it was like, yeah. My mom just texted me. She's like, hey, school starts at. I know. Are you already here? I wasn't here, no. I was getting close up to be here. That's okay. I got a lot of stuff done at home. Guys, I think we should just turn off the power every day. Well, I think it had something to do with the construction, so they just need to make more mistakes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah make more mistakes. Happy mistakes. Honestly, well, they're going to have construction for like two more years, so like. So the odds like, are pretty good, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll do like, another one tomorrow. Oh, I wish. <laughs> Next oh, Wednesday, we have the late start, but that's not any fun because it's like 10 minutes. Yeah. It's not much of a difference. Yeah, it's like enough time to sleep in. It's not. Yes, it is. I'm the second one. Yeah, but still have to It's Okay, let's look at this last one quick, guys. If you shop at Target, then you will use your Target red card. If you do not use your Target red card, then you will not get your 5% off. No, 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 no. Right, what if I had a coupon? What if I had some other ways to get a 5% off? So, this would just be, yeah, a Groupon. No one? Oh. Use honey for Shane Dawson. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 All right, that was a good day. It's way better than the other couple days. A lot better. Way better. Way way better. So the half hour class. Yeah. 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 Ye